So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. Today we're taking a look at a wireless outdoor camera from 2Cam. Now this is completely wireless guys, no charges needed, no network cable, has an internal battery and it does run off your Wi-Fi. So big shout out to Toucan for sponsoring this video. In this video, I will be taking a look at the wireless outdoor camera, but also stay tuned guys. On a future video, I will be reviewing the Toucan wireless doorbell. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Before I jump into the unboxing, just wanted to uh, say that a lot of people, the reason they don't do their own camera setup is because they have to drill holes, they have to run network, run electrical. Uh, it's just too much for most people. So a truly wireless solution, something like this is ideal. And same thing with the doorbell here, guys. This is completely wireless, no um, wires needed, does have a built-in battery. And the focus on these two products is gonna be the ease of installation. So as far as the specifications and some of the features, you get a 1080p camera, completely wireless, of course, so it'll run uh, off a battery, runs off your Wi-Fi. You can see, you can talk, so it does have two-way audio, motion detection, notification alerts on your smartphone. You do get adjustable angle. We're gonna play with that in a little bit. You can set an alarm. It is battery powered, like I said before. Magnetic mount, so easy to go ahead and stick on. You're gonna see how easy it is to install this when we get into it. It does have night vision, and it is waterproof IP56. Now let's go ahead and slide the box out. All right, secured by Toucan, 24-7 monitoring. So nice sticker that you can put in your window. Here's the camera itself. We'll just put it to the side for now. All right, so what do we have here? You guys are putting in a drywall, screws, as well as the wall anchors. Two-sided sticky. We're going to see how we're going to use that. We have a charging cable. This is our micro USB. And here's the other part of the magnetic mount. So the camera will stick directly onto here, guys. This is going to be the sticky tape, so you can either choose to mount it uh, via your wall anchors or you can just go ahead and use two-sided tape to stick it on your wall. So here's the camera itself. So nice and heavy. We have some sensors in the bottom, so we're going to have the motion sensor. We're going to have the IR blaster right here. Go ahead and peel this off. I am going to put the specifications on this side of the screen. I uh, realized that you guys wanted to know the battery life and all that good stuff. So I'll go ahead and leave the specs right there. Please pause the video if you need more time. All right, so we're taking a closer look here. We have a set button right here on top, but this part also peels off. So let's go ahead and we'll see if I can get it out. So it looks like we have a set button and we have a reset button in the top. Nicely insulated so no water will get in. So this is our charging port on the bottom. Insulated in as well. We also do have a speaker right here on the bottom. There's also a camera mount right there. Microphone is right here in the front if you guys can see it. There's a little slit right there for the microphone. But overall, it's a decent looking system guys. Very sturdy. Glossy in the back right there semi-gloss the rest of it hard plastic in the front and um, of course like I said you can go ahead and mount that you can see how powerful that is <laughs> holy crap <laughs> this takes a lot out of me to actually release so no issues with this falling off guys this is confidence right here this is confidence this is really in there so this is a nice addition you can actually mount it move it how you want move the angle it is going to stay put and it's a quick release so whenever you need to charge it you go ahead and just yank it out plug it on the charger and you're good to go so we're going to go ahead and get it set up launch the application and just see how it performs overall now pairing the device is pretty straightforward guys once you download the app there's a button on the top push the set button the device is initializing. Now once you get it set up, go ahead and give it a full charge and you're ready for the installation. Now for this installation, use one screw, use the backing plate, and I go ahead and put that back magnetic plate on my roof. So once you have the camera set up, everything is done through the app. So when you launch it, it gives you a nice overview of the current cameras that you have set up. You can see we have two cameras. I have the doorbell and I have the driveway. And we'll be looking at the driveway camera in this video. If you want to take a look at the doorbell review, I'll put a link in the comment section once that video is live. So you can see on the bottom, we have the dashboard. We have events. So that's going to go through all the notifications that you had. And you can see them all there. We have our settings. So within our settings, we have our account. We also have device update. We also have the option to share your device. We also have support, terms and conditions, and your private policy. So back to the application, we're going to go ahead and launch the driveway camera. So this is the default view, guys. You can see I have the option to unmute it. 
where you can hear everything. Can make it full screen, which goes into landscape, and you can see it looks a little bit better right there. At the bottom, you have a couple icons. So first one right there, if you wanted to leave one of these pre-recorded messages, you can go ahead and just click on it and it will play the message to the visitor. You also have the mic option. So if you wanted to do a live two-way chat, you can go ahead and do so. And you have a siren. When you press the siren button, it starts to give an alarm. So, so if someone is approaching your property or on site that's not supposed to be there, you can sound the alarm and hopefully that will deter that person. Now below that you have an option to do a manual recording, stop it, it will go ahead and save that. You also can take a picture and you have the SOS guys where you can call 911 or you can set up a number for it to contact. Now from this view on the camera it is a lot wider so you can scroll back and forth. If you're not able to or you don't want to go in that full screen mode you can go ahead and move it like this, it's pretty cool. You go to your settings, do not disturb. Video slash timestamp, night vision, set that to automatic, always on, always off. You also have the motion sensor, sensitivity, emergency call. So this is where you'll set that up. You also have siren duration, event limit. So you have a couple options that's suited for the pro. At the bottom, you can change the network and you can also remove the device. So just switching over to the night vision looks pretty clear. Even though I have some other cameras around the house, uh, you can definitely make out the face of someone who's on your property. So definitely recommend this camera. This is probably the easiest install I've ever had to do on a security camera. Now currently it's on Amazon for $79. I'll leave links in the description, but also stay tuned because I do have the doorbell review coming up soon. One other thing I would like to mention is that this is also compatible with your Amazon devices. So if you have an Echo Show, you can go ahead and add that skill. That way you can view the camera directly on your show. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.